Egypt open. Big changes start with small beginnings. Governments and organizations in the Arab world should recognize the role of youth in their societies, influencing social and economic development. According to the United Nations Youth Strategy, young people's empowerment should not be only an end in itself, but also a means to build a better world. Youths should not only be heard, but also understood, not only engaged, but empowered, and not only supporting, but also leading policy making. As young people below 40 years represent about 60% of the Egyptian population, capacity building, training and empowerment plans were adopted at different state agencies. Egypt named the year 2016 as the Year of Youths. Since then, building youth capacity became on the state's radar and part of its development agenda. The state has also announced the National Academy for Youth Training and Rehabilitation, supported the participation of youth, launching the Youth Parties Coordination, and launched the New Republic's Youth Union. While Egypt's World Youth Forum represents a step forward in making youth participation in development a reality, it also helps to recognize youth's role as empowerment, not just engagement. Engagement is not enough for the youth today because what will truly lead to impact is their empowerment to influence real policies and initiatives. While Egypt's presidential leadership program and National Training Academy are great examples of building the capacity of youth to partake in leadership positions, the focal point should also be providing a channel for input and feedback from young people on the work of policymakers and leaders. There also have to be a strengthening to open knowledge platforms and knowledge production on youth challenges. The importance of the World Youth Forum is to provide access to knowledge, as the key to youth empowerment lies not in merely facilitating networking and connection opportunities, but also providing easier access to knowledge. The World Youth Forum can also provide a similar opportunity to mobilize funding where a youth investment platform can be created to attract direct investment in youth-related projects and strengthen existing funds that support youth initiatives. The World Youth Forum can grow into becoming a real movement for youth, one that puts youth at the center of its vision and reflects the challenges that youth continually face in an uncertain world. Welcome back. And uh, one of the great achievements of our leadership was putting our youth as a priority file for uh, the country to help them partake the role in um, the development of their own country to prepare them to have this leadership role in the future and to uh, get to know every uh, tiny issue. Back to you, Ambassador Abdullah, and um, before I, I, I get back to this, uh, uh, our topic here, No Africa. No Africa, this was the project in which you earned your title Ambassador of Youth uh, 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 or the African Youth. Tell me more about this project because I'm, I'm so interested to understand how important is it mm -hmm. for Africans to get to know uh, or exchange yeah. culture. Yeah. culture. Yeah. Uh, in 2015, I was a Nigerian student uh, union president at that time. And uh, after that, I was uh, in 2016-17 the, uh, uh, the cultural secretary of African Student Union. Mm. We have about uh, 14,000 African students here in Egypt, in the different universities. At that time, uh, we, are, we are interacting with the uh, Ministry of Youth, Egyptian Ministry of Youth, and uh, uh, Faculty of, uh, Arab, uh, of uh, African Studies in Cairo University, and uh, uh, youth programs or associations here in Egypt. Then always when I am moving on the street or beside, an Egyptian asks me, where are you from? I said, I'm from Nigeria. And they are eager to know what is Africa, How, uh, what is your population. Nigeria is in uh, South Africa or West Africa. Or, they are asking many questions. Even our colleagues in university are asking me. Then I think, I said, 
we have about 14,000 students here in Egypt, African students. And Egyptian, they want to know about Africa. Then what is our role? Our role is to give them that experience, is to, to, to give them that awareness about Africa. And we are opportune to come here to Egypt. And the Egyptian youths that are not opportune to go to our countries, then let us at least give them uh, the nice or the goods about our countries. Then I, I went uh, at that time to uh, uh, Egyptian Youth uh, Association and uh, I gave them the project. I said I have a project with uh, No Africa. I am volunteering to give that knowledge and give Egyptian my colleagues, my Egyptian youths, to give them uh, to, uh, some experience, normal experience that I know in Africa. And they welcomed me and uh, they gave me the place and everything. They said, this is a very good issue. And at that time, President Abdel Fattah Sisi is, uh, what they call it, uh, always is talking about Africa, Africa, Africa. Then I, I, I was welcomed that, uh, th that time. Then uh, we, we gathered about, I think, uh, in two or three categories, about 70, then 60, 30 youths, Egyptian with uh, uh, African and Egyptian youths together. And we have a, what do you call it, uh, a training sessions about uh, one month, for example, to give them, uh, we'll take each countries today, Nigeria, tomorrow, Chad, next tomorrow, Sudan. We are going to talk about all what uh, natural resources in the country, uh, what do you call it, the population, the, the languages, the ETC. We talk and it becomes a very nice thing and Egyptians are welcoming the program. Then at the end of the program, we are gi uh, giving them certificates. Uh, the, the Youth Council of Egyptian Youth Council uh, then awarded me as uh, African Youth Ambassador with that uh, title. And uh, I think this is a very, uh, what do you call it, uh, nice thing that I'm calling our embassies. The, uh, the role of embassies, African embassies here in Egypt, is to show Egyptian the, uh, the good way of Africa, each countries. I think this project, if we try to make it each year, for example, under the, the supervision of uh, African embassies, I think it will be very nice. And Egyptian, uh, they love Africa, really. If I'm moving in the we street, do. really, they ask me, Africa, you are from Nigeria, we want to know about Nigeria, uh, the population, they, they're asking many questions. Then that means uh, they, they need this thing. We need to give them, and do, it's our country, we have the experience, we have the, I think, I, I just did that on my own way. But I think if uh, the, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, African uh, embassies here in Egypt, with the collaboration with uh, youth uh, ministry here in Egypt, or, or, or Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs here in Egypt, I think if we have this project, we are doing it, I think uh, Egyptians will love Africa mm -hmm. so much. And uh, we at least, uh, 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 what we call it, uh, give them opportunity to know more about Africa and to know that Africa and Egypt is just one thing. It's just like one country. It's just like share one culture, share one. If you see as one, uh, you'll see that the same culture, the same Africans. If I go to, uh, to Aswan or Luxor, I feel myself like I'm in Nigeria. I see they are my brothers and sisters. That means Egypt is one of the great African countries. And uh, if you see uh, Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, uh, these are countries in Africa that has many roles uh, and play a big role in Africa. And I think uh, Egypt uh, uh, needs to know more about Africa. And I think this is what uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi needs, the collaboration of youth, Egyptian and African youths, the collaboration and uh, to sh uh, show more concern and uh, share the experience together. Yeah. So I spoke to you uh, about that because No Africa is such a project that we need to really, continue really. with because reaching to anybody, it means that you have to understand him, uh, really. you have to understand his background, you have to understand really. his traditions, how traditions, you think uh, the culture, it is all now. this, indeed. How do you view Egypt's efforts in uh, empowering youth mm. and uh, the successive steps that were taken by lady, the leadership in order to be able to empower mm -hmm. uh, 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 our youth so far? And what or how do you see the role yeah. of our youth uh, to uh, um, advance or enhance 
peace mm. and uh, development in our continent. Yeah, I think uh, uh, President Abdul Fattah Sisi tried before World Youth Forum. Mm. I think uh, he has a, a forum with uh, Egyptian youths. I think they held that forum in Alexandria here in Cairo, the, the uh, Egyptian Youth Forum, that uh, youth forum. I think uh, at that time I'm watching <laughs> and uh, I'm following up to see that uh, really uh, Af uh, Egyptian youths are lucky to have uh, a president that care about them, that brings them together that gives them the knowledge and the wisdom and the awareness of leadership. Mm. And uh, I think uh, uh, Egyptian youths try with uh, the President Abdul Fattah Sisi and uh, with the leadership, presidential leadership program to in two to three years, 2017, just 2014, 15, 16, in 2017, they called the whole world youth to come and has a, what they call it a seminar or dialogue forum. Uh, yeah what with forum and i think if you see all this uh, president abdul fattah sisi gave uh, he, he gave a time to egyptian youths and he gave them like you said earlier to ask freely questions they ask him freely and he answers them uh, immediately when they ask him i think this uh, makes uh, egyptian youth to uh, uh, grab that what you call it wisdom and to have uh, what we call it uh, uh, that awareness of uh, leadership and i'm very happy in egyptian ministries now if you go to egyptian ministries you will see many youths that were emp in empowered in the what we call it programs in the ministries etc and i think egyptian youths are lucky for that and are trying their best and yes coming i think egypt will do better ambassador abdullah i have only half a minute half okay. a minute left okay. yeah. What could be the African and Egyptian aspiration for this for the future? Half a minute. The future is uh, to make Africa better, and Egyptian and uh, African yes. youths together. Together, if we are together, uh, I think uh, before 2063, uh, uh, I think Africa will be great with African and Egyptian youths together. Yeah. Indeed, and we had all the pleasure of hosting Thank you, you so uh, Ambassador Abdullah Kajimi. Uh, so the much. African Youth uh, you. uh, Ambassador. Thank you so much for being Thank with us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And dear viewers, many thanks for watching. Tomorrow would be another important debate with another colleague. Good night.